Yeah, sorry. So basically, the line there, we said your hands want to be working back this side. Oops, sorry. This side of the line, you want to be pushing out this way. This is the one you hit dead straight in, yeah. almost a little bit of a fade. You watch as the hands go back, they stay under the shoulders. Look at that club. Uh, yeah, 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 that's what's that nice. Club. That does. looks pretty darn good to me, okay? Yeah. Then we can hinge the wrist up, and again, the angle of the shaft halfway back. Is that on the ball? Well, in fact, it'll be more precise actually, because that's probably there, and that's yeah. the shaft there, so. I can work with that. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty darn good yeah. for me. And then top of the back, so now the club just looks as neutral as you're going to get. The angles you're creating now in the golf swing, that club is square. Perfect position well, there now. Again, club yeah. can come back down, back on exactly the same plane. So you come back exactly on that same spot there as you went yeah. back on. Club now is exactly on that same spot you came back on. Club perfect, flushed it. Ball goes to target. And then you just swing. So even your swing plane post plane is almost perfect there. So that, for me, mechanically, was almost a perfect golf swing, hence why it went so for 240. Drive, the same, so, so yeah, exactly, exactly the same. Exactly. All that will be different in terms of the swing, obviously, with this club here now, that's kind of the spine angle and the shaft angle. If we had a driver, obviously, it'd be a longer club, so you'd be a bit here. You'd therefore be further from the ball and slightly more up. So that's for your driver plane. Uh -huh. If we go sort of pitching wedge with a short club, you'd have the club face up here, and the shaft would be more that way. So you'd be yeah. nearer the ball and more upright. But the angle around your body still stays relatively the same. Yeah. It's just obviously your spine angle with a pitching wedge would be there. There's your hybrid and there's your driver. So you're just a bit more upright, a bit flatter, depending on the length of the club. And you still swing the club around your angles there. But for me, overall, that, that was absolutely class. I mean, that club's gone back perfectly there. We've hinged the wrist on there. And that, for me, the fact you come back down on that angle there is very impressive okay that's class and, that, and that's why again it shows when you get the correct angles and the positions you hit a different ball flow together it? what you would normally see before your swing is the club going back too far in here then probably underneath there on sorry, over the top on the way back and then dropping back underneath on the way down attacking the ball from way on the inside and one of these big slingy ones either goes out here or on the golf course where there's trouble left you get the old snap slut hook and it's just good night for you so the club now more in front, the hand staying underneath the shoulders there. You're not pushing your arms out to get the club going further away. You're keeping your hands going back nicely on the inside, and the club just tracks back on the inside. Wow. But before, you had your club whipping way in there because it was your forearms and your wrist position, not your arms, okay? So the arms just take it back under the shoulders, and the wrists and the thumbs point out that way. Yeah. You don't lift your arms out in front. But that, to me, mate, that is a definite tick the box. That's great there. That's great. That's perfect. That's great. Come back. Spot on. Ball flies to target. We can see the ball there just sailing away. Different ball fly together, mate. Really impressive, that. So, more of them, please. <laughs>